Okay, before we begin, I'd like to claim that the last two episodes were recorded months ago on my Dazzle. And Dazzle is seriously a gigantic piece of crap to me. It lost a whole section of recording that covered quite a few things, so I will not be able to show those clips. However, I can show you in PowerPoint form. So first, you'll be getting a few emails. One email basically shows you that you can actually get pictures on your PDA. Second, you'll get an email about the kids wanting you to get uh, to go back to the Snagum hideout, because apparently, uh, Snagum has created a new Snag machine. Along with it, they'll ask, uh, they'll talk about two new Shadow Pokemon that two trainers have in the hideout, which I'll show over to the side. In the hideout, you're gonna want to go where we found the big desk, and there will be Gonzab waiting for you. Just beat him again, and he'll just leave you alone. As well as give you the D-Disc, which will allow you to go into the Deep Coliseum in the Under. The kids will also start emailing you about someone called the Deep King, who seems pretty important. They recommend you continue going through the Coliseum challenges to find out more information. This will be where our story will continue. Okay, so before we actually cover the under, we need to take care of a few things first. So, in the under, you can actually get these gold teeth, or the steel teeth, or whatever. Give it to that old man, he'll give you the L disc. So, you use the L disc on the UFO, and in this little treasure chest, you can get an amulet coin, which I will actually give to Espionator. Anyways, now we're actually gonna go back down and cover the under. So, um, unfortunately, um, some of the footage got, kinda got lost, like, half of the, half of the Deep Coliseum. So, um, right now, during this speed-up thing, because believe me, it's gonna take a long time for you to complete, um, I'm going to explain what the Deep Coliseum is. Basically, um, throughout the four time, uh, throughout all the times that you have to go through the, uh, Deep Coliseum, you'll be facing, um, each of the old, uh, bosses again. Uh, so, Mirror B, uh, I forget his name, because it's been a long time, um, Venus and Ian, that one buff guy, I forget his name, the one with the, um, Pokeballs on, as a necklace, but anyways, you're gonna have to face them all again at the end of each round. So, or at the end of each uh, bracket, I guess. I don't know. So, right now, the f just putting this out there, the first two um, brackets were actually uh, got cut out because I couldn't find the footage for some reason. So, as you can see in the final, I'm facing Venus right now. So, as it's basically your third chance to get uh, their shadow, <coughs> their shadow Pokemon. So if you did not get a, if you could not get it then, you should be able to do it now, especially if you can use the Master Ball glitch, because then there should be no other time. Also, after this, you can keep on repeating and face these guys over and over again. These guys generally use the same tactics as before, but generally they're a lot uh, smarter. Shut up, cell phone. They're a, they're a tad smarter, and the Pokemon are a tad over leveled. As you can see, as you can see, Espionator is probably the only one that's matching them, whereas my Umbreon is actually um, in the is very under level. So yeah, that's basically what you do. You two have to do in the Deep Coliseum. You have to go through all four of them. This one being the third, and then the fourth one will be the next one. And then we will go through the fifth one, which I will explain soon. So I hope, hopefully, I did cover any questions that you guys may have to ask about the under, or the, about the Deep Coliseum. And I know I'm talking really fast, but if I skipped any information that you guys would want to know, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Any questions at all, it doesn't have to be about the Deep Coliseum, but generally, it probably, or preferably it would be. But anything about my entire series, you can go ahead and ask any questions, and I will try my best to answer them. If I don't answer them, it doesn't mean I'm ignoring you, it just means I don't want to answer your question. So, I'm ignoring you. Just kidding. But if I really don't answer your question, it means that I refuse to answer it because, um, it spoils something, I guess? Or, I don't have an answer. Or you can just Google the answer. If you can just Google the answer, then by all means, use that. So, um, just enjoy the speeding music, the speed up, mock speed music, and I will see you in a moment.
Hello everybody, I'm Koshi Sushi, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. This is actually going to be in the middle of part of an episode, so I don't know how awkward this is going to sound. Um, so, it's actually been a long time since I've recorded a live episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Like, the ones you saw before were recorded months ago. Actually, I think over a year ago. And then, um, the, uh, under Coliseum, like, the mock speed video... Uh, thingies were actually recorded, like, without po with, with post-commentary. So, uh, this is actually my first live session in a long time. So anyways, we got this email from Net from the Under. This is Net, there's a rumor that Deep King has entered in the knockout tourney at the Deep Coliseum. Koshi, you've got to enter too. Show up his highness. Okay. We are down for that challenge. And really quick, let me show you guys my current team. Um, Espeon has always been the star player. Jaws has always been like the supporting person. Tormentor has always been like the one to take one for the team. Jet Li, you're good. Cotton Shock, you're getting pretty better. I don't use you a lot even though you're at a high level. Um, I gave Tormentor the, uh, or Umbreon, the experience share, I believe. Yeah, the experience share. And honestly, Tyranitar, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep him. He has just, he just has a lot of weaknesses, especially in this com upcoming round. So, I guess he's actually kind of there for, like, a Mercy, Mercy Pokemon, where, um, he kind he's there just to, like, uh, you know, just be there. So, anyways, uh, well, not just be there, to be there to, like, sacrifice one for, you know, take one for the team, and while I, uh, heal up my Pokemon and whatnot. So, anyways, we're gonna enter this up, we're gonna enter this, uh, knockout challenge, and this is going to be, uh... This isn't going to be mock speed. This is going to be like full on 20 minutes. Freaking hell, this is going to take forever. And oh my gosh, I might as well I might want to just skip straight to the Deep King, but at the same time, there's not that many battles left in the game now. Like honestly, I think you're, we're coming up to the final 5 or 6 battles of the entire game. That's saddening because we're we're getting close to the end. We're very close to the end of this game, and I mean like total, the whole total game. Um, so, first thing we're gonna do, Ninkata level 64, Nin- uh, okay, Psychic, and I don't have Bite on him anymore, completely forgot, so, Normal doesn't do anything, I might as well use Surf, maybe I can get a hit on the other Pokemon too. And Espeon's almost new. I think he's about to level up. 69! 69, 69! Come on, I've been waiting for this the whole LP! Let's go! This one level! No! Never mind, he doesn't level up. Uh, that's unfortunate, and you would send out a horsey when I'm about to use Surf, so it's not gonna do anything. And I don't believe Horsey has Swift Swim, because if it does, yeah, it definitely doesn't. But if it did, I'm, I'm pretty sure horses don't have one. But if it did, that would be such a disappointing thing because then it would just heal itself even though it was at full HP at the beginning of the turn. But anyways, um, let's just use return and surf because they're pretty much dead. I mean, come on now, it's only been three minutes into the recording, almost four, we're coming up to four minutes. And you know, yeah. So honestly, I honestly thought that um, during this time would be the greatest, would be the great, would, ha would give me the pleasure of um, honoring me, well not honoring me, I'm saying, of giving me the honor to, you know, thank everyone for all the support throughout all these battles, uh, throughout this entire LP while I'm going through all these battles, because a lot of people helped out with this LP, even though it was slightly completed a year ago, a lot of people supported me, um, the next LP, Pokemon XD Gale of the Darkness, which is the sequel to this game, definitely coming up soon, so I just wanted to take this time to, you know, like, talk about... Um, talk about you guys, talk about upcoming projects and extra stuffers. I guess, I don't know. I don't know why I said stuffers. I'm hanging out with some friends for a while now. I don't know. That's kind of why I'm in a unstable uploading schedule. I mean, honestly, guys, okay, you guys are all used to it by now. I think the funniest joke I've ever said in a video is, okay, videos are going to be uploaded daily now. That's literally the funnest, funniest joke I've ever said in an LP. Anyways, um, but honestly, yeah, I'm, I don't know, like, I just feel like, it's, it's not much of a, okay, wait a minute, I don't have bite on either of these two, god, shoulda kept one, 
And, oh wow, let's just use return and surf the hell out of them. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, um, I guess I want I didn't want to... Holy crap! Return killed it in one hit. Espeon loves me. And Cedra, wow, you just won up the guy who battled me before. He had a... Seeking... Uh, horsey, horsey, that's what the Pokemon was. Holy crap. You have a freaking Seedra. What's the next one after that? Kingdra? Kingdra, right? I want to see Kingdra in the next battle. Maybe... Wait! He had a Shuppet. He had Nincada. Okay, Nincada had nothing to do with it. He had a Shuppet. I guess that was replaced by Miss Druvis. Miss Druvis, I guess. And, um... I kind of want to try Hydro Pump on Miss Druvis. Um... So yeah, Shuppet kind of went to Miss Druvis, and Horsey came to Cedra, which is now dead. Because you're now deaded. I'm trying to go through these fights as much as possible, but yeah. Um, so how have you guys been since the last Pokemon Coliseum episode? And I mean, like, what is it? This is episode 3 of the after game, right? Or the epilogue, as I named it. A lot of you, a lot of you guys were surprised that I uploaded the epilogue. I, I think a lot of you guys, like, lost hope, and then, um... I guess you, were, you guys were all like, Oh no, he is actually coming back! Yes! What a god! Okay, um, Hydro Pump didn't work. Let's try it again. One more time. One more time. One more time. Psychic, hopefully it'll kill it. Not even close. And now you're Psychic type, which doesn't even matter. At this- STOP MISSING! Now you're gonna die! See what ha- Oh, You're not dead! Okay! Oh god, maybe you are dead. Oh, never mind. Okay. For Alligator Jaws, one last chance. I'm using Return, and one last chance. One last chance. Hopefully, Hydro Pump will work. No matter what, it'll be healed by next, by the next, uh, by the next battler, anyways. <sighs> That's what I love about these Coliseum battles. Honestly, in this, in this kind of game, this is the best way to freaking don't you, you freaking missed! I hate you, you missed all three times. You're terrible, Jaws. I don't want to see your face anymore, which is why you're going back in my Pokeball. Okay. Yeah, let's just go. Cotton Shock, let's do this, Shat. Shat. So yeah, how you guys been? I've been, um, I'm honestly, I'm actually in the, uh, oh wait, no. That won't work. I'm actually in the process of going through my finals week in high school right now. I'm in the last week of school, um, end of my sophomore year. I'm uh, graduating 14, 2014, for, for those of you who don't know. And, you know, I'm really excited. I'm halfway done with high school now. Halfway done. You know, granted, I still have summer school and stuff, but... Because, you know, I'm not that, you know, great in school. Even though I'm Asian, you know, stereotypically, we are the greatest in school and everything else. But no, just kidding. Okay, that was, that was kind of racist, I'm sorry. But, um, stereotypically, you know... Honestly, actually, I've gotten some people on Twitter saying, like, if I'm talking about, like, school or something, some people on Twitter are going going on, on like, um, uh... or tweeting me back saying, Koshi, you're so Asian! Why are you talking about school so much? By the way, twitter.com slash Koshi Sushi. Anyways. Murkrow and Relicanth. Great. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay. And I was actually speaking to one- well, not really speaking, I was watching this one guy who's also doing Pokemon Coliseum LPs. I'm gonna get rid of Murkrow first. Surf, let's just do Surf. Hydro Pump isn't reliable. It misses three out of three frickin' times. And Surf will kill Murkrow anyways. <sighs> But yeah, as I was saying, I was actually watching one of these, this one guy who, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'm still kind of sick, who told me, who started to, uh, do Pokemon Coliseum LPs, um, and I was watching them, and then he was, well, first of all, I'd like to say, his quality in his videos are freaking beautiful, like, I'm freaking jealous, but I don't know, maybe it's because of the HD HDPVR, I haven't recorded, a live episode of Pokemon Coliseum in an HD PBR yet, so this is actually the first time. Now I hell I want to get rid of Mawil, and I'll keep going with Surf, I guess. Wait, is Mawil Dark type? Oh, not very effective. My left foot. Q 
killed- it took away like more than half of its HP, come on now. Come on now. Gotta give me some credit for that. And you're dead anyways. You don't even get the chance to move. The only chance- you get to move inside your Pokeball. And Relicanth is just, you know, derping over to the corner over there. I don't know. Skull Bash. Oh god, Skull Bash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyone see that glitch? Okay, w look back. Look back into the video. Rewind a little bit. Um, <coughs> you see that little icon of Relicanth and his name and everything is HP? Look at that. Um, move backward. And then um, watch him do Skull Bash again. Watch, focus on the little icon thing. That was really weird. Don't know if that's just me. And me sounding sick again. You know what? Maybe if I eat something. I'll sound less sick. And I'll sound obnoxious in recording. So I'm okay with obnoxious. I'm actually eating one of those, uh, those Ritz cheese crackers. I don't know what those are called. Oh. Mmm. It's good. So I'm on a commercial. Sponsor. Rich, is, rich, rich should totally sponsor me. I'd sell so much. I'd sell Koshi Flakes. That's what I would sell. Koshi Flakes. Anyways. So in the final. The moment we've all been waiting for. Deep King Agnol. You're challenging me? That's right, guys. This is the final battle in the Deep Coliseum. He has a level 60 freaking 6 Skarmory and a 68 Giraffe Rig. We have a 69 Espeon. We're kind of screwed, probably. Just kidding. I don't know. Um, Honestly, okay. This guy here, from what I remember, is probably my favorite kind of boss we have. I mean, like... Here's the thing about him, like, his character, not that great. Nothing so special about his character development or anything. Like, with a with a final boss like this, you'd expect, like, something, like, especially with an after boss, you'd, you'd expect, like, a background story or something like that. No, it's just a guy. He's really cool. That's it. That's our boss. He's just a really strong guy. Nothing great about him or anything. It's just that, um, he actually, the only thing about him is he holds one of the last Shadow Pokemon in this game. So we actually do need to take care of this, because I'm hoping to get as many Shadow Pokemon as possible, and holy crap, that's gonna be a problem. I should probably get rid of, uh, Giraffe Rig first. Continue using the Surf. Okay, come on now. Alright, one Surf should kill it. One Surf should kill it, yes. As long as Feraligator goes first. I gave it a Mystic Water, so hopefully his Water Attack... <clears throat> Sorry, I burped there. Hopefully his water attacks are a tad better, and Giraffarig is down. No more electric attacks from this electric slash psychic type. Okay. That's freaking cell phone. Wow! <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so I sent my friend a message. Uh, she knows about uh, Koshi Sushi and everything. Um, she's actually going to be helping me out in the next LP, which, you know, coming up soon. I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys. But, um... Oh, here's that Kingdra! See, I told you I was expecting it! Um, oh god, I'm confused. That's not good. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Maybe I should start saying hit yourself. Maybe it'll stop, you know, doing that. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, she's actually helping me, but I sent her a text message saying, Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta record. Because I'm one of those textaholics that, you know, BRB or... Um, LOL, TTYL, all that crap. Um... So... Shoot, this almost down. Um, Espeon's kind of our st Oh god! Oh god, I'm getting sidetracked. No! Oh! No! Espeon! Nater! I loved you! I loved you in the most heterosexual way! But anyways, as I was saying... Frickin' level 70 king drug, get out of here! And I'm gonna frickin' use Surf. But as I was saying, so yeah, um... I, uh, sent her a text message saying, I'll be right back, I'll be right back, I gotta record. And then she's like, okay, have fun, have fun yelling at my, at yourself, because she freaking knows I do that every recording. Because, case in point, I'm yelling right now. 
<sighs> Alright, as long as it can... Oh, shoot, Shedinja. Ugh, crap. Hydro Pump, oh dear god. Level 70, King try Hydro Pump. Get the whole stab. Ding, you're not dead. You're not dead. Give me my Ritz Bits Cracker thing. My Ritz Cheese. What is this called? Ritz Cracker Fulls. Classic cheddar. I got you. Okay. Um. Now then. I'm gonna get rid of Kingdra. And. I hope Sheriff works on Shadinja. Shadinja. Yeah, it doesn't. I probably should have just stuck with, like, um. Slash or something for, like, hopefully for a critical hit. Which it won't. And Hydro Pump, that's not good. Don't hit. No. 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 No, 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 no. F U C K. Alright. Uh oh, ne definitely not using Tyranitar. Um Sending out a level 52 Jet Lee against you know, a level 52 Jet Lee against a level 70 dragon. Thing of my odds are, you know Jet Lee can beat dragons. I mean, seriously, come on now. Okay. Now it's ghost and bug, correct? Honestly, I'm act this is this guy's actually here to use the uh, revives and everything. And I have six revives, four hyper potions. Good enough. <sighs> Shoot, I don't know. Okay, I must have one move good against Shedinja. I must have one move. Come on, at least one. Okay, I'm gonna just use Slash on Kingdra because I don't want to risk any more chances. Hopefully, it'll critical hit. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you? Flippin' flappin' kidding me. You, my friend, are going to die. Don't you dare die, Jet Li. Oh, that's right, son. Freaking Shadow Ball. Now you're gonna die. Whatever. Whatever. Alright. I'm... Oh! oh! Duh! Tyranitar! Just use Shadow Rush. It's super effective on everything. Oh, God. Or I could use Sand... Stream. That works too. Maybe that'll kill Shedinja. Does it kill Shedinja? I don't know. But will it kill Ki it killed Kingdra? Just the presence of Tyranitar killed Kingdra. Holy crap, this is gonna be a long ass episode. Just realized. Um mm. And it killed Shedinja. Good job, Tyranitar! You're the man. Okay. Now then. He sends out, I believe this is the last Pokemon, a level 45 Shadow Shuckle. Okay. Sorry for the obnoxious eating. But, here's what I have a problem with this. You have a badass character, great Pokemon, difficult team, difficult-ish team. I only lost two Pokemon. Um. Or th <coughs> Or three, sorry. Kind of choked. And he sends us a level 45 freaking Shuckle. Now, granted, Shuckle is actually a pretty good Pokemon. I'll be honest. Like, in most of my online battles, I actually do have Shuckle on my team sometimes. But, why would you give us a level 45 Shuckle? We're all in our, like, 60s by now. Come on. But anyways, go ahead and actually go ahead and use the Master Ball glitch. And, um, and be sure you use this Master Ball glitch because that's going to suck and I'll just call you just in case. Watch the Master Ball somehow not work. But anyways, there's the Shuckle. Um, you give us a level 45 Shuckle, come on. At least let level like freaking 80 or something. I don't know, something beautiful. Or like a Mewtwo. That would be interesting. Level 70 Mewtwo. Just like in the old games. But anyways, that is Deep King Agnol. We beat him. Easy as pie. Even though I kind of... I'm not skilled, I used revives. Even though I didn't really need to, actually. I kind of just wasted a revive there. I don't know. I got pretty, I got pretty lucky with Tyranitar. I, I remember in the beginning of this uh, recording session, I was like, "Oh God, Tyranitar is gonna be like dead a lot, probably." We'll be looking forward to your next entry. Screw that! Oh my God. But yep, we got Shuckle. Tyranitar saved the day pretty much, and which is really ironic because I didn't think Tyranitar was that great. But um, that'll be it for today's episode. So. Actually, before we do that, we're actually going to want to go outside really fast. Because, 
I want to show you guys what happens afterwards. So, go up to the under and everything. Go up to the under. That's an interesting uh, question there. Enter the UFO disc, yes, forward. Okay, honestly, if they're gonna have a UFO disc, like, system thingy, can you at least put it, like, right next to the UFO, like, right here? Because that pisses me off. A lot. <sighs> but anyways. Anyway. Uh, let's just get out of here, and you need a, You're gonna get an email. Remember, if you're stuck in the after game, just walk from one place to another, or travel to a different place, different city or something. Then you should normally get an email, if you're stuck. Unless you're just stupid and you don't know how to follow the storyline. So, now we're actually gonna go to... Let's go to Pirate Town. And we do get an email. So, let's go ahead and check that.